Hi, I'm Clay at CPAP My Way and CPAPMyWay.com. I wanted to take a little time today to explain some of the most frequently asked questions about maintaining and uh, cleaning your CPAP machine and CPAP supplies. One of the most frequent questions we get is, how often am I supposed to change blank? Or when should I clean this? So I'm gonna take a little time here and just take these apart, go over some of the replaceable and cleanable parts here and just give you a little overview on some of our most basic models. So uh, we'll start off on the machines themselves. Um, these are two of our most popular, the ResMed AirSense 10 and the DreamStation uh, CPAP here. You know, this is obviously just two of the many that are out there, but they're all basically the same concept. You know, they're gonna have filters, they're gonna have a humidifier, and you know, really this should kind of uh, give you an idea of at least what yours uh, potentially needs to be maintained. Now, I it may not show you exactly where the filter is, but it's there somewhere. Uh, we'll start off with the Dream Station. So um, looking at the Dream Station here, you'll see that um, on the front, you know, you've got all your setup information. On the back, you've got the humidifier chamber, which opens up here, okay? And then additionally on the side of this one is where you find the filter set, okay? So as far as maintenance on most CPAP machines, there's really only two things to deal with in addition to the tubing, and that is the filters and the humidifier. As a general rule of thumb, you should be cleaning your supplies once a week. Okay, so at least once a week, we should say. And that includes the humidifier, the tubing, the mask, and um, the especially whatever cushion, pillow, or seal you have on the mask, since that's touching your nose or, uh, or face um, every night. So uh, on the machine, you got a set of filters. More than likely, you've got either a washable and or a reusable. Uh, or both, right? So in the Dream Station here, we've got both. We have a reusable filter that is washable. It's good for about six months. And we've got a disposable filter that needs to be discarded at least once a month, if not every two weeks. That's gonna vary depending on your house. Obviously, if your house is dusty, if you have pets, uh, or if you have the windows open quite a bit, you're probably gonna have to maintain that more often, but it should be checked once a week when you're doing your maintenance. Proper way to rinse or uh, to, to take care of a washable filter is just to rinse it out once a week. As long as you're doing that, it's going to be um, well taken care of. You're not gonna have to do a whole lot more. Disposable one, very simple, right? Throw it away, get a new one out, put it together and slide it back in. In addition, just like most, there is a humidifier chamber. and this one, it's uh, wide open, nice and easy to clean. At least once a week, you should be cleaning this with some uh, soap and water, light soap and water. Rinse it thoroughly. You don't want to be breathing in a soapy smell. Additionally, humidifier chambers should be dumped daily. You don't want to let water sit in here stagnate and, um, and grow all sorts of things. We've seen some horror stories walk through the door. So make sure that you dump yours daily. It's best to just maybe leave it on a napkin, let it air dry, and then at least once a week, wash it soap and water. If we're looking at the uh, ResMed AirSense 10 here, just for demonstration purposes, it has very similar deal, same setup as far as on and off and all that. On the side, you have just a disposable filter on this particular unit. So this one, uh, nothing to wash, just take it out every two to four weeks, throw it away, put a new one in, clip it shut, really very simple. But it can be the most crucial thing about your CPAP as far as longevity goes. You must maintain your filter. And then on the side, you've got a water chamber here. Same deal, pops open on this one. It's a covered water chamber. You need to dump it daily after use, wash it, soap and water, at least once a week. Fill it before bed, and set it back up for use again. In addition to that, you've obviously got tubing coming off of uh, either one of these CPAP machines. And the tubing should be cleaned once a week as well. That's also good with a little light soap and water. Um, rinse it thoroughly back and forth and make sure you rinse all the soap out of your tube. Tubing can go a long time, but generally should be disposed of about every three months. The humidifier chambers are good for a very long time. So as long as they're not leaking and you're not seeing any kind of uh, mold or mildew or anything uh, residue wise inside that you can't get rid of, it's probably gonna last a very long time. I've seen people get literally a year or two uh, out of them. As a general rule of thumb, it's recommended you change it about every six months. So uh, moving on to the masks. The masks themselves all have parts that need to be washed and maintained. So I got the three general types of masks represented here. So this is the uh, P10, which is a pillow mask. You notice two little nasal buds. The Dream Wisp, which is a nasal mask. You notice it goes over the nose, okay? And then the uh, Simplest, which is a full face mask. You notice it goes over the mouth and nose. Um, we'll start off with the P10 just to show you. Um, obviously it's got tubing as well. So once a week, this should be cleaned right along with your uh, CPAP tube. 
but additionally it has these pillows on them, okay? The pillows are designed to pop loose. Now obviously on this particular model it's got little clips that clip it in. Um, on others it's just form fitting, so they just pop into a little pre, uh, prefabbed form, but almost all of them pop out in some manner. Um, so these are called, as a general rule of thumb, a replacement seal. Um, they're also called pillows, cushions, um, and all sorts of other slang. These are designed to be cleaned at least once a week. Again, now this going in your nose, you may want to do it even more often. Um, soap and water inside and out, let it air dry after cleaning, and then it's ready for use once it's dry. Pillows should be replaced every two to four weeks, at least once a month, okay? You should toss it and get a new one. That's not only for sanitary purposes, but just for performance purposes. You'll realize over time you have to tighten your mask to get it to seal more. It's time to throw your cushion away and get a new one at that point. That's the pillow masks. We'll look at next the uh, nasal mask. Same general concept. It's got tubing that needs to be washed on the inside with a little soap and water, and that's just, you know, just running soapy water through it and rinsing it thoroughly. Additionally on this one, this is one of the form fittings, so it just kind of pops out, you know, the cushion that is. This is a replacement seal for the Dream Wisp. It obviously can be washed inside and out very easily, at least once a week, again, dry it, and then it's ready for use again. It should be thrown away um, at least every two to four weeks, um, or as performance gets bad on it. So if it's not sealing well, it's time to toss it and get a new one. General rule of thumb is once a month, so pretty good time for that. One thing we glossed over on the uh, P10, but is applicable to all of these, is the headgear. So the head straps on all of these are um, hand washable with a little um, a detergent and water, and then air dried, obviously. It's recommended that you change your headgear, uh, the straps, the, the material portion, about every uh, six months to a year. You'll notice over time, you know, the Velcro, which is a part of most of them, will get to where it doesn't stick as well or the headgear will get so stretched you've got the Velcro wrapped around your head just to get it uh, on there. If it gets to that point, it's time to replace. Moving on here, we've got the uh, simplest full face mask. So same general concept, headgear, obviously a little bit more of it on here. And then you've got that replacement cushion, okay, or seal. This can be washed, obviously once a week, it's best to take it out to wash it, that way you can get in there and all the little folds. But as with all the rest, it's best to change it at least once a month. All of them also have, you know, a, a, a frame associated with them. On this one, it's actually the, um, you know, the actual uh, ring around the deal here. And then on your uh, P10, it's just the tube and the hard plastic. So that's considered the frame of the mask. The frame of the mask, as long as it's performing and doesn't have any holes in the tubing or, or cracks, it'll last for as long as you've got um, performance out of it. So. I've seen some people get well over a year out of a frame just changing out the cushions and the headgear. So it'll save you a little bit of money if you're able to just buy the parts as opposed to buying the, um, the frame and everything all together. And that's obviously, um, you know, our bread and butter with our auto ship club. So if you're interested in replacing your parts on an annual, uh, biannual, quarterly or monthly basis, uh, whatever's easiest for you, you want to take part in one of our auto ship memberships. Obviously, it's going to get you the parts you need, the disposable parts, that is, for your machine, your tubing, and for your mask. It also gives you some really great opportunities to save money in other areas, uh, such as 10% off-site wide for us. So um, please join us in taking, uh, taking part of that, and uh, we would love to help you with your CPAP supplies. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, or obviously reach out to us via phone, email, or chat. We'd love to hear from you.